Hey guys, today we're going to be drawing Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. So let's get started. So first what we're going to do is we're going to draw a U shape for the head. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go... Actually, wait, before we do that, let's do the eyes. So we're going to draw huge eyes just to make it look cute. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw two highlights and shade the rest in. Okay, let's do the next eye. Two circles and shade in. Now we're going to draw a very cute smile. and get it off okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the head where the hair comes so we're going to go up down up and stop okay so now what we're gonna do is um okay first let's go down and flick go down and flick and now we go up. Now make sure you don't go make it too high, otherwise it will look odd for the hair to be that high. So we're going to do hair because Hermione's hair is a bit puffy, so we're going to make it look a bit wider than it's supposed to be. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. Going to go up, wave a little bit if you can and connect and we go up again and down okay so now that's the head so um we're gonna finish the the head later first let's get on with the body so now for the body we're gonna draw make sure it's in line with the eye so this is gonna be the shoulder part so make sure it goes like from here and then there, so it looks like the sho shoulder. So we're gonna go like that and then up. Okay, so now we're gonna draw the colors for the robes. So what we're gonna do there and then we're gonna go like that. Make sure it doesn't look too in so the head is like um, tucking into the collar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and up. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the tie. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a square circle and we're going to do some stripes so it looks realistic. Now we're gonna we're not gonna make the the tie too like long, otherwise it'll cut into the robes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and then stop about there. Now it's gonna go the opposite way from this, so it's gonna go this way, this way, and okay. Okay, so now we've done the this the tie bit and um now we're gonna draw the shoulder and now for the arms we're not gonna do like any normal arm like just a normal arm we're gonna make it a bit beggy so it looks like a rope so we're gonna go here down flare it out a bit curve from yeah flare it out a bit again come down and meet it we're gonna go back again, flare it out, come back in, connect. So now it looks a bit weird right now, but it's gonna get better. So um, what we're gonna do is we, we've done that bit, so you're not gonna go over. We're gonna draw the little um, hands. Um, make sure it's not too complicated because we don't want it to mess up the whole drawing. It's gonna go like that. So that's the hand. And you're gonna draw a little wand. Okay. So she's holding a wand. 
and to do some magic and yeah okay so now we're gonna draw the other arm up curve in okay so now we're gonna go this is already the line so we're gonna go down flare it out a bit then you come up Make sure it's meeting the right. So it's met the collar. We're going to do the same on the other side. Make sure it's like following. It's tapering the other side so it looks symmetrical. So go up. Connect. Okay, now for the shirt. Um, we can't just leave the robes like that. So we're going to curve in. Shirt and then just doing little details here. Okay, so that's the shirt done. Now we're gonna do the skirt. So um make sure it's about here. Make sure the robes is longer than the skirt. So it's gonna be like that. Then we're gonna go out, a taller one in, out, in, and last time, out and in. I'm just gonna do the last one here. Then we're gonna do a little curve just, just to make it look more like a skirt. Okay, so now for the leg. Now the leg is kinda hard, um, but we're gonna try and simplify it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down, make sure the legs are not too thin and up down and then up so that's the legs so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the sock so we're just gonna do a little wave so it looks like she's put up her sock okay and then just go over it again now we're gonna slow shade now you can follow this bit right now to the legs because I'm just gonna make it neat and you can do this at the end of your drawing. You don't have to do it now, but I prefer to do it now. So, shape them that way. Okay, so that's done. Now before we do the legs, I know um, this is a bit long, so we're gonna do the hair now. Make sure it, right now. This is this bit is straight, but mine's hair is like wiggly, so we're gonna make it wiggly. Okay, so we're gonna go down little curves, then it's gonna meet to the hair. Yeah, so that's the side, and now try and taper right. Now for the legs, just add some detail. Now for the legs. So now we're gonna do a like, little leg there, another leg there. Not too difficult. Now we're gonna just go for the sole. Okay. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. I hope you like how my Hermione video turned out. Bye guys.